Hi, this is Patty from Kate, the Kentucky Academy of Technology Education. Today we're going to take a look at Book Creator, Book Creator for Google Chrome. There is an iPad app as well, and it is still available, but Book Creator for Chrome came out fairly recently. So when I want to go to Book Creator, I'm going to type in app.bookcreator.com and it will bring me to this page. When you're here, you can choose to log in as a teacher or log in as a student. And you'll notice from all the pictures in the background that Book Creator can be used for a lot of different things, creating stories uh, as far as like storybooks or reports, um, and all of them get saved as a an EPUB or an eBook. So um, they can be viewed either on the uh, Book Creator website or they can be downloaded and viewed otherwise. So I'm going to log in as a teacher, so I'm going to click my button. And I've already got an account with Google, so I'm just going to say sign in with Google. When it opens, it's going to show me the books that I have. And so I have two different books. I'm going to show you my color book first. And so we're going to actually go, we're going to click on it. And then I'm going to go into the play mode. And this makes my book kind of act like an actual book by turning the pages. So I'm going to open it up and you'll notice that it has a double spread, shows both pages. And so I have my text that I've written for each uh, of my pages. And then on one of the pages, I actually recorded the actual text. Now with younger kids, this could be where they actually talk about the picture or talk about what they want to say on the book. And maybe they haven't written as many words. And so you can actually have them maybe just write one word, which might be parrot. Or if you're talking about colors, it might be red or blue or whatever colors they see. Um, and then they can actually talk in sentences or and tell about what it, they actually see. So if I click on here, it will actually play. The parrot has many colors. He is mainly red, but I also see blue, green, and white. He is very pretty. All right, so when you're recording, um, or when you actually want to play back, you actually have to be in the playbook mode, okay? All right, so we can go to the last page here, and it just is talking about the bear being black. Now, if I want to share it, I can use this button here, and I can click on it, and I can publish it online, or I can download it as an ebook. All right? Okay, so we, and we can change from double page view to single page view as well. Let's say we want to edit it, and we want to go to the very last page and add something. So I'm going to go to the last page, and let's say I want to change the background color. I can click on the eye, and instead of it being this color, maybe I want to make it the green. Okay. You also have the option of hitting the plus sign, moving around on the colors here, and then making them lighter or darker, and then applying that. Okay. All right, so we've already got the color done, so I'm going to hit the plus sign. Then we can add media. We can add, we can import media, which would be importing like, like pictures or things. We can use the camera to take pictures. We can use the pen to annotate. We can add text, typing in text and text boxes, and we can record our voice. Let's import something. And we can import a file from Google. And the first time you go to Google Drive, it's going to ask if it can access your Google Drive. I love the fact that it can access Google Drive, which means you can easily use this on a Chromebook. All right, I'm going to choose a file from my computer for this. I'm going to click on my other option here. And I have a file on my desktop, which has lots of colors in it. And I can click and make it bigger. And I like the fact that when I'm dragging it, when I get to the middle, I actually will know when I'm centered. And if I click this button at the top, it will let me rotate my picture. So maybe I want my picture to be this way instead of the other way. All right, now if I want to add text, I come back up here. I go to text, and it asks me to write. And I can say that this chalk has many colors. Can you tell me what they are? Click Done, and it puts it on the page. Now, I don't want it there, so I'm going to drag it down here. But it's a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up again to the eye, and notice that it has changed. Under Text, I now can change the size by dragging. 
can go much bigger. There we go. I could always make the text box longer by grabbing either one of these circles. And then I can re-center it on the page. Going back to the eye, you'll notice that I can center the text as well. I can make it bold, italicized, or underlined. I can also change the font. And so I can change it to anything that is available in my menu. And so let's say that I want this Noto Sans. And so it's going to change it to that. And let's see, I think there are some other things I can do with my font. Yeah, I can change my color. So if I don't want it to be black, I can make it blue. And I can also go back and I can give it a shadow effect. And so you'll see the shadow that appears, or I can take that off. It's a lot easier for younger kids to read without the shadow. I do like the fact that I can send things forward or back, and I can also delete the text from here as well. If I click on this page here, again, you're gonna go back to where we saw the colors, and it's gonna show me the color that was chosen. Okay, so now if I go back to play, I've got my page here that was added, and I can go back and forth between each of the pages. You'll notice that on this page, I added a shape and then put my text inside the shape, and this allowed me to put that on top of my picture rather than giving myself space to actually write in, which actually worked out pretty cool. All right, so let's go back. Um, I'm going to go back to edit and back to my books and we're going to create a new book. I'm going to hit up the plus sign. The first thing I have to do is ch choose a book shape. So I can choose from portrait, square, or landscape. And notice I also can use the same shapes and make them comics. So this is great fun for especially for boys, but girls seem to like it too. One way that boys are really get into um, reading is actually by reading comics. For some reason that really appeals to them. So let's choose a size, let's choose landscape. And so the first thing we're gonna do is create our color. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our cover. I'm gonna to go to the eye and I'm gonna choose a color for my background. And so let's choose, let's go to the plus and let's choose a pretty green and we can slide it along and see how dark we want it and then we can click on apply that's pretty nice okay and then let's add some text and we can call this my uh, animal book okay we'll click done now remember this is not just an elementary app um, this can be used by middle and high school students doing reports. They can keep the text small. They can add a lot of text. There doesn't have to be the audio recording. And when they're done, they've actually created a book. And it can be played actually on, I can't remember which type of, whether it's the Nook or the Kindle. I think it's the Kindle, but I'm not positive. The one that actually uses the same kind of file. But it can also be used on an iPad. Um, it, because it is also an app for the iPad, it uh, will play in the iPad iBook. So, all right, so I've got my title. I am going to go up here to the I and make my text big. Okay, I'm going to center it. I still think I want it bigger. I want it, oh, it's not centered. There it is. I had to make my box bigger. Okay, click on it again, go to the eye, I can change my font, and let's choose, it's open dyslexic, that's kind of fun, and go back, and I can change my font color, let's see how the blue looks, that's not too bad, mm, I don't know if I like the purple, let's stick with the blue, now if I wanted to add a picture, I could do that as well, again, going to the plus, going to import, and remember, I can do an image search, and it typically, um, it says the results are labeled for commercial reuse with modification, and you can look at that. So I'm going to type in animal, see what comes up, and I really like this. So I'm going to add that to it, and I'm going to send it to the back. And then I'm going to change my my box here, and I'm going to move it. 
over to the right. Oops, I don't want to go off. But because I have the picture on, I think I'm going to make it smaller. I need to go over to the information. I'm going to come down. It looks like about that will work. Now remember, if I wanted to, I can add a shape. So I can go to here and add a, oh, that's under here. There we go. There's shapes. So I can create a rounded box. And I can send that to the back. Oops, I didn't want to send it that far back. Maybe if we just put, make sure that's on top. Okay, we'll select it. And we're going to right click on it and move to the front. Not grabbing the right thing. Sometimes this kind of stuff gets a little crazy. I didn't want to move it to the back. We can even offset this and put this down here. Let's move it to the front here and see if it'll stay. There we go. All right, it's not exactly centered. All right. Okay, we'll go to the next page and we're going to add a color. Let's make it a really pretty blue. Come back here and we're going to import another picture. And we'll import it again from Google. Let's say we want a cat. And hmm, we can do a bunch of cats. And then if you want to write down here, you're going to go do the plus and go to text. Remember when I say I'm done, it's going to put my text box somewhere. I can move it down below and then I can go to the information and make it bigger. I can draw this make it as wide as my picture is and then I can change my if I want it centered change my background do all those different things and leave, or I can leave it the way it is so as you see it's very very easy to put it together all right if you want to undo something you do have an undo button if I want to play my book then I've got my two pages and when I did this color, I like the orange, but if I don't like the orange, I have to get out of the play mode, go back to edit. But if I wanted to make that fill a different color, all I would have to do, hoping I'm picking the thing, it would be to change. And I am actually on the, the font, but if I was to move that off, I could change the color of the actual rectangle. So... All right, so when I go back to my books, you'll notice that I now have that book there. I have three books. And so as the kids in your or students in your class create books, the neat thing is that they can collaborate. And so if you're ready to work with students and other teachers, you can create a new library and ask them, invite people to join it. So if I create a new library, I then can... Um, choose what I can want you know students to do and then I can invite people to my library so you would name it and then you'd actually click on invite it needs a name and we'll say um, this is D priest and I have an invite code and one of my students I'm going to go ahead and log out if they go in as a student they can sign in with Google and then they can uh, create, but um, create their own account, but they can also join another class. So they would come up here and join. So since I don't have another account and it's signing me in with my same Google account, it is confusing it. And remember, you can always um, export out by clicking the little export sign here. You can publish it online and it tells you, give your book a title. 
tells the author, and it says, once published, your book can be read on bookcreator.com. They'll give you a private link, and then you can choose who you want to share the book with, and you can unpublish, unpublish the book at any time. So that's it. It's a lot of fun, great creativity. I love the fact that you can add the voice. The voice can be anywhere from them totally reading or saying what they want in the book, or it can be them actually um, just reading the text on the book. So, you know, the, I think the options in here for doing just about anything, you can see I started to create kind of a little ebook about our Educate Academy. And if you go into play, you know, it's got information. So this could be, you know, something that more that along the lines of a, what a middle school or a high school student might do. So, all right. Thank you for watching. And I hope you've learned a lot about uh, using Book Creator.